Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel guys. So what I have for you guys today it is going to be another episode of the transfer rumour roundup for the championship. Now I've not yet finished my exams, I still have a couple of them to go but I did have a free couple of hours this weekend so I thought I'd bring you guys another episode of the championship transfer rumour roundup and since I did my last video we have had a whole lot of stuff go on in the championship which we will be discussing in today's video guys. So let me know down below what you've thought of your club so far in this transfer window. Are you happy with the players that your club has signed so far and also are you happy with the players you've been linked with? So the first thing that we have to talk about is of course Derby County and them appointing Frank Lampard as their manager. It was confirmed last week and uh, quite an interesting appointment I think it's fair to say. Derby fans let me know down below what you are thinking of this one. It can't have just been me that thought his announcement video on Twitter was a bit over dramatic. I mean it looked like a, a trailer for a movie that was directed by Christopher Nolan or something. Why would you run, eh? You should be as afraid of him as I am. You don't owe these people anymore. You've given them everything. Not everything. Not yet. And to be fair, that actually does look like a pretty good movie that I go and see. But in all seriousness, with Lampard going to Derby, it's a gamble from the Derby board. There's no question about that. But he's certainly going to be someone who's going to bring some fresh ideas into that club. And for a team who's come so close in so many seasons gone by lately, maybe something like Frank Lampard is just what they need to go ahead and push on to that next level. I mean, just here from the general championship fan, do you think Frank Lampard will be a good manager or not? Let me know down below. We also saw Ipswich go ahead and appoint Paul Hurst as their new manager, of course, the former former Shrewsbury manager. I think the Ipswich fans will just be glad to get a change really from anything. You know, last season under Mick McCarthy, it was a solid season for them, but it was an incredibly boring one. I think that this appointment of Paul Hurst should see them going in the right direction. As well as that, we've also seen Aston Villa just have an absolute crisis after they lost the championship playoff final. And uh, this story with Aston Villa has been all over the news, of course, with them being in financial crisis at the moment, of course. We've seen John Terry go ahead and leave the club as, you know, they wouldn't have been able to pay to keep him on. The wages would have been too high. Aston Villa in this transfer window, it's looking like they're going to have to make a lot of cuts if they are going to, you know, fit into the regulations going into this season. So, with Aston Villa, things aren't looking so promising at the moment. And I'd be very interested to get some Villa fans' perspectives of what you think is going to unfold over the club over the summer. At the moment, it's not looking brilliant. And so, just before we do get into any of the transfer rumours, we will quickly talk about some of the completed transfers which have gone through in the Championship lately. So, we, of course, saw Reading make a couple of signings. They went ahead and signed David Myler from Hull City. I think that could be a decent one really. Brings a bit of experience into that team. As well as that, they also signed John O'Shea from Sunderland. And to me, this is a really strange one. I mean, John O'Shea is 37 years old. And when I watched him last season play for Sunderland, he was being absolutely shredded by people, you know. I watched him last season when Preston played them. Sean Maguire was just turning him inside and out. That's a bit of an odd one for me. I'm not sure why they made that signing. My team Preston went ahead and signed Michael Crow from Ipswich. Town. He was their number two goalkeeper last season. Perhaps this could mean that one of Preston's keepers will be heading towards the exit door this season. The probability is that would probably be Chris Maxwell if any of the goalkeepers were going to leave. Wigan went ahead and signed Leonardo da Silva Lopez from Peterborough United. Quite a promising youngster. Could be a good one for the future. Bolton completed the signing of Jason Lowe as well. He was released at the end of the season and he'll fit into their midfield going into this season. And we also saw Norwich City complete the signing of Emi Buendia. I think I'm saying that right. From Getafe. Quite an interesting sign this one. Only 21 years of age. He is an attacking midfielder and perhaps that could signify that James Medison will be heading towards the exit door and perhaps this guy could be his replacement. He's someone who can play either in that number 10 role or out on the wings and from what I'm led to believe, a very highly rated player in Spain. So there were some of the completed transfers which have gone through in the past couple of days but now let's get into the good stuff guys. Let's go ahead and hop in to some transfers.
transfer rumours. And the first thing we have to talk about is Leeds United and their search for a manager. And currently, Marco Bielsa is the favourite for the Leeds job. Now, apparently he has been in advanced talks with Leeds for the past four or five days and we've not seen anything be confirmed yet. But even so, if Leeds do pull off this one, it could be a very exciting future ahead indeed for them. He, in the past, he has managed Argentina, Chile, Athletic Bilbao and Lazio. And with some financial backing, Leeds next season could be a bit of a force. So we'll kick off the transfer rumours with one of the most bizarre stories that has been breaking in the last few days in the Championship. That is, of course, Benekafobe, who's been linked with the move to Stoke City. Now, he only officially signed for Wolves nine days ago, and already he's been linked with a move away from them and to Championship Stoke. At the moment, Stoke are really looking like they're going to be flexing their financial spend in this summer. They've been linked with quite a few big players, but this transfer would really come as a surprise for me. A, he was, of course, loaned out to Wolves last season in the championship for the second half of it. Managed to score six goals in 16 appearances for them and in the championship when he is played in the right system I think he can be a prolific goal scorer so it's no surprise to see Stoke being linked with the move for him. Now Wolf signed him for £10 million from Bournemouth and currently Stoke are offering £12 million, so Wolves have got the chance to go ahead and just make some instant profit on Benekafobe but it would just be a bit of a bizarre one really to go ahead and sign him instantly and then sell him straight away. I mean, this gif would sum that transfer up, really. If this deal was to happen, then it would mean that Wolves would probably have something big lined up for themselves. I can't see them letting a phobia go if they're not planning on bringing in some big signings. So I think that this transfer is probably dependent on who Wolves are able to sign in this transfer window. Speaking of Wolves as well, I know they've been promoted to the Premier League, but they were at one point 20 to 1 to sign Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh, the world's just going mad now. Stoke have also been linked with a move for Watford's Andre Gray, a prolific goal scorer in the Championship from his time at. Burnley and Brentford, a fantastic player, got bags of pace to go ahead and stretch in behind. Currently, Stoke are willing to pay around 14 million for Andre Gray, and they may even go ahead and sign both the players. You know, they've got the parachute payments coming down to the championship this season, and Stoke are not missing about. They're looking to bounce straight back into the Premier League. As well as that, they're also being linked with a move for Dwight Gale, uh, of course, finished as the championship's top scorer when he was at Newcastle United. However, that transfer is probably less likely to come off as he's probably likely to go ahead and stay in the Premier League this summer. The next big transfer rumour breaking from the Championship was that of Bobby Reid. He's currently been linked with the move to West Brom. Currently they are willing to pay around about £7 million pounds for the Bristol City player. Now what's interesting about this move is he only has one year left on his current contract at Bristol City. So you know, of course last season he went ahead and finished with 21 goals. If he had more than one year left on this contract, I'd say that he would have been worth way more than that. But with only one year left, Bristol City fans, would you be tempted to go ahead and sell Bobby Reid? Let me know down below. I think that what's interesting about this transfer as well is he's not that typical West Brom striker who you'd normally associate with them, you know, a big target hold-up player, which may suggest that they'll be shifting their style of play going into this season. If Bobby Reid was to leave Bristol City, we saw a couple of murmurs with them being linked to Mate Vidra of Derby County. Now, Derby are in an interesting situation at the moment. They don't, they can't really go out and spend the most amount of money as they do have some financial constraints against them after, of course, some big spending in previous years and they've not been promoted to the Premier League. But even so, I don't see this one coming off. However, a Bristol City player who could be leaving in this transfer window is that of Joe Bryan. Of course, they're highly rated left-back. It's no surprise to me to see some Premier League clubs coming in for the left-back. I think he's an immensely talented player who's brilliant at both defending and making those overlapping runs going forward. Currently, the Premier League clubs said to be interested are both Burnley and Everton, but it would take a pretty big fee for Bristol City to go ahead and sell. It's also no surprise to see a couple of Aston Villa players being linked away from the club at the moment with their current financial situation at the moment. The first of which being James Chester, probably one of the most solid centre-backs in the Championship last season. He went ahead and formed a really solid partnership with John Terry. I think that over the past few seasons for Villa, James Chester probably has been one of their most unsung heroes. He's currently being linked with a move to both Burnley and Brighton and it's no surprise to see him being linked with a couple of Premier League clubs. And of course we're still seeing Jack Grealish being linked with the move away from Aston Villa. I've got a feeling that this is the sort of transfer rumour which could rumble on for the entirety of 
the window, you know. A big money move like this, they never really seem to be sorted out straight away. He's currently been linked with the move to Tottenham Hotspurs. And what I find most baffling about this is the fee being talked about for Jack Grealish is £40 million. Pounds. Now, I don't know what you guys think. I'll leave a poll for you to vote on, but is Jack Grealish really worth £40 million? Let me know down below. In my opinion, that's just ridiculous overpay for someone like Grealish. I mean, last season, he went ahead and scored three goals in the championship. I know that stats aren't everything, but even so, £40 million is way too much. Another attacking midfielder from the championship who's been linked with the move to a Premier League club is that of James Madison. He's currently been linked with the move to Leicester. Leicester City, Leicester as well, another one of the clubs said to be interested in Jack Grealish, but this is one transfer which I think has a high probability of coming off. At the end of this transfer window, I would be very surprised if James Madison was a championship player, really. And that is a shame because I've really enjoyed watching him over the last few seasons at Norwich. You know, he's a phenomenal talent. Last season in the championship, he went ahead and picked up 15 goals and 11 assists, some of them unbelievable as well. So the question that I asked you guys is who do you think is the better player? Is it Jack Grealish or is it James Madison? Let me know down below. Another Norwich player being linked with the move away from the club is that of Josh Murphy. He's having a couple of Premier League clubs interested in him as well. Currently Fulham and Brighton are both interested, but as well as that, we're also seeing Middlesbrough being interested in the Norwich winger. Now, what I find quite interesting about Josh Murphy, I think that he's got bags of potential. Uh, perhaps was a bit inconsistent last season. I don't think that Daniel Farker probably got the best out of Josh Murphy last season. I don't feel like the system that he was played in got the best out of Murphy. I think that sometimes under pressure he does crumble a little bit you know when the crowd really gets on Josh Murphy's back he seems to back down a little bit but when he's a player who's playing with confidence he can be unbelievable and Josh Murphy could be going to Middlesbrough to go ahead and replace Adama Traore of course he's been linked with a whole load of Premier League clubs at the moment he's another player who I would be quite surprised if he was a championship player next season a phenomenal talent currently the clubs interested are said to be Huddersfield Newcastle and Chelsea Bolton Wanderers are said to be interested in Dan Graham, of course, last season playing in League One for Blackburn Rovers. Not a prolific goal scorer, however, he is a pretty good target man for the championship, and that's something that I think that Bolton will need to look into, especially after releasing Aaron Wilbraham and not really replacing Gary Medine last season. And then Nottingham Forest could have a huge summer transfer window coming their way. They're currently being linked with a couple of Benfica players. The main one is that of Jao Carvalho. The fee currently being talked about for the Portuguese winger is around 13 million. This isn't going to be cheap, and it looks like Forrest may be taking a leaf out of Wolves' book. You know, they saw the success that Portuguese players had at Wolves last season, and it's looking like Forrest may be going down a similar path to them. It is a gamble, you know, there's no doubt about that. 13 million, it's a lot of money for the championship. With some of the players they're being linked to at the moment, they are showing a lot of ambition. Joe Carvalho, he has played the majority of his games for Benfica's B team. However, when he has made the odd appearance for the main team, he has looked quite promising and in Portugal is actually a very highly rated youngster. We're also seeing Nottingham Forest being linked with the move for Jordan Hugel. Now, this doesn't come as a massive surprise to me, really. I do think that Jordan Hugel will be back in the championship next season. Forest are currently being linked with a loan move, which would actually cost them around about £1.5 million now. What I would say about Jordan Hugel in the championship is he's not a prolific goal scorer, you know. Make no mistake about that, but I think that when you have goal scoring midfielders and wingers who like to come in and attack, Jordan Jordan Hugel is a fantastic hold-up player who can get those flick-ons and in the championship I would argue he is probably one of the best hold-up players in there so I think that would be a pretty good move for Forrest if that did come off. We're also seeing Derby County being linked with the move for John Terry now this can't come as a massive surprise really and it would be quite an interesting dynamic as well to see Frank Lampard be managing John Terry but Derby fans would you like to see Terry come to Pride Park? Let me know down below because it's no secret that Derby do have one of the older squads in the championship Championship. You know, the average age of that Derby squad is one of the highest. So I think it's going to be important for Lampard to go ahead and invest in some young talent. But John Terry to Derby, what do you think? Will this one come off? Let me know down below. And then to wrap up the video, we're all seeing my club, Preston North End, billing with the move for Graham Burke. Now, another player from the Irish League currently playing for Shamrock Rovers. The fee being talked about would be around about 300k. Now, he uh, predominantly likes to play as an attacking midfielder, as a number 10. I I'm not sure this is the most priority signing that we need to be making at the moment, of course. I mean, I'm a massive fan of Josh Harrop, and 
if we were to sign Graham Burke, would that mean even less playtime for Harrop next season? I don't know. Preston fans, let me know down below what you think of this one. To me, it seems like a bit of an odd signing. So guys, there are the latest transfer rumours which have been floating around the championship. So if you guys have seen any others which have caught your eye over the last week or so, make sure you do get them in the comments down below and we can have a bit of a discussion about what you think of the championship and how it's going to unfold this season. But more that, guys, thank you so much for watching. So make sure you do leave a like if you did go on to enjoy the video. It is always massively appreciated. As well as that, make sure you do subscribe for some regular championship content. Like I said at the start of the video, I've still got one more week of exams, but after they are out of the way, I should be back with some regular uploads. So apart from that, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.